pretty bad at designing masks. What's up guys, Dave Nitter, one, two, and two, and I got my buddy Ryan here, and we're going to do a little review of his Budget Magician deck. It's basically uh, like a um, Pendulum Magicians, but without spending a lot of money and still making halfway decent decks. It's like three structure decks and some commons and rares. Yeah. Uh, basically, this we start out with round two because I didn't have the foresight to actually do an entire review for the deck and record a duel from each round I thought we were just gonna record one match and then it ended up I was like well this wasn't a good one so let's record the next one and then I was like you know what we should do all four rounds and I lamented not recording round one uh, which was Pepe and you lost anyway yeah but I did win one game so he won the first one I won the second and then he won the third with like uh, trapeze OTK anyway this game I, I started out with the uh, noble 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 dragon in my hand so I uh, chained wavering eyes to his activation so he wouldn't blow himself up uh, and I think I had a or I think I had a magician anyway uh, in the other scale but uh, searched out another noble dragon and discarded it with pendulum call to search out uh, dragon pit and wisdom eye and because I activated call I can't use wisdom wisdom's effect so I kind of couldn't go crazy so I ended with a summoning Oaf Dragon. He sets four and a monster and uh, take a blind swing. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> I don't know what that is, but we're gonna pop it. Normal normal uh, Skull Crobat to search out Pendulum, Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon. Your derpy Platinum Rare version. My derpy, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah Told you it was budget. <laughs> <laughs> so Pendulum, uh, Summon him. That gaudy thing. Isn't it pretty? <laughs> so shiny. Uh, using Noble Dragon's effect to summon him from the grave, turning Pendulum Dragon into uh, level 4 to Synchro for Meteor Burst. I didn't know what he had face down. Like, I don't want to give him any effects. Uh, just in case he was playing a good deck. And then does that cover all your monster's attacks, not just his own? Yep, monster effects. Your opponent's monster effects cannot be activated during the battle phase. So. That's cool. I just want to make sure that. I have no idea what he's playing. So, I swing for some damage. Not quite killing him. No. I didn't think he could come back to OTK me, though. <laughs> you figured once you saw a, a, a fabled base down that you had this? Yeah. Uh, how many games did you play against him? Two? Two. Okay, so yeah, two, two of them. Gotcha. So this is game one? Game one. Well, trust me. Uh, for the two. record, we, we didn't we didn't record all games of all rounds. We just did one game of each round, so that you don't have to sit here and watch Ryan blow out fables two times in a row. Yeah. <laughs> just for the record, don't click off. So I'm slowly picking apart his back row and doing pendulumy stuff. And I'm trying to figure out how many monsters I want to pendulum summon, just in case that's a solemn warning. All of the pendulum summon. Was it game two that uh, he ended up using Solemn Morning on you? Maybe. And you were like, why didn't you do it on my Pendulum Summon? He's like, oh, I didn't yeah. know that would, he didn't know that would I work. I trished him, and he activated it on Trish instead of the Pendulum Summon. So, I taught him something. Taught him something. So I'm thinking here I'll go for uh, Utopia Beyond. Because Odd Eye's Pendulum Dragon's effect is that all battle damage is doubled, so I figure I could swing for 5,000, and if that doesn't go through, I could still swing for game with a 3,000 Utopia Beyond, so. Alright, this is round three, second duel of the video. Because, <laughs> again, I missed round one. Uh, this is against a Magician Mirror? Mm hmm. More or less? Yeah. I think he was uh, tacking in some hero stuff. He had Mass Change 2 for. Uh, uh, yeah, but he could only use Skullcrobat Joker to summon him, so. Why is that? Why couldn't he use, like, uh... Is it the only dark in the deck? No, but it's the only dark with a low enough level. Oh, right. That's kind of cute, I guess. Yeah. He didn't open Ideal, did he? No. I don't know what that set card was. Uh, for the record, this is actually game three, but... You still 2 owed him. This I 2 owed him, and then Dave being a slacker. I didn't record either. <laughs> so nope. I was like, would you guys play another game just to, so I have one for my video? It's a good thing I won. It's a good thing you won. Otherwise, you would have screwed up the aesthetic. So I decided to Black Rose him just A, because I can. Um, 
I mean, even he though had he had scales and stuff. He too. had scales, but he did pendulum call, so they were safe. That's why they didn't get blown up. Oh. I was like, I don't really. I just didn't feel like dealing with his back row just in case it was a wavering eyes. And you had three to set anyway, so you're yeah, like, oh, whatever. That's fine. Um, so I don't really want to let him get that search off. Plus, he gave me the two thousand from upstart, so I'm back to <laughs> back to beginning life point. Okay, so he's getting his clown engine going. Mm -hmm. Maxi. Yeah, I don't want him going off like crazy on my empty board. Not that he could necessarily, but I, I think Pendulum summoned a couple things, could he? Yeah. Did he just pass? I think so. Yeah, I, honestly, Maxi's drawn me so few cards in these tournaments, it's <laughs> nuts. Like, if I get one certain one draw off Maxi, it's, it's a good day. However... It's 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 it being, you're more of a something. preventative. Yeah. Than anything so I wavering eyes his scales, search out my my Joker to search out wisdom. Yeah, you figured while he was thinking about it. Um. His turn. He discards clown for pendulum claw. I think he top decks the call. Which, he does. Which he is a great it. top deck. And he summons it back. Yep. Interesting choice going into for trapeze. trapeze. Yeah. So I throw my cards around. Like a baller. <laughs> I top decked into the second wisdom. I had one in my hand. I'm like, oh, I need to top deck into something good. Oh, yay. Well, he, he just ripped Pendulum Call, so, so it's only fair. Yeah, I need to, <laughs> top, I need to top, top deck like a bamf, too. So you got your... Got my Kieran. Kieran. MVP of the deck. Oh, so my good. gosh. So good. Especially for uh, recycling Joker, so I can Pendulum Summon Joker from the extra deck. Which is what you just did, Which right? is what I just did. Bounce Trapeze... And then re normal summon uh, Joker to get a search. So just like the recycling ability with Kieran and, and Joker is really good. Or even getting um, Oaf any Dragon, other right? Oaf Dragon or any other magicians back to my hand. Because I can't get Oaf Dragon back to my hand with his effect. So, so, and so oh. he, what he ended up doing is searching out. I think he wanted to complete his scales, but he didn't. I feel like he misplayed because I, I told him that Noble Dragon blows himself up. After you search with wisdom, and he's like, it, "Oh, because okay. it has to have another scale, right?" So yeah. There's if like there's a, no other, if there's not a magician in the other scale, it blows himself up. So yeah, and he got a useless card. So he really lost some advantage there, and I, I don't know that he knew that would do that because he did say that he never uses that as a scale, and then I just, yeah, I swing for game. At some point here. Well, I wanted to, <laughs> I wanted to. Uh, Totally debilitate him. All right, round four against oh, Burning Abyss. Uh, Texas is such a pro. I love this. Da, 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 da. It's the one and only Eagle Double G. Five, <laughs> five right off the top oh of the my deck. Gosh. Oh, so good. So I'm like, I don't want him to go crazy because it's Burning Abyss, so I just preventative measure maxi him. Uh, Does he give you one? He gave me one because I activated it on the reveal. Mm. So I pendulum call for wisdom and pit. And pendulum summon Kieran. And then normal summon Fox to search out a Tempest. Which is pretty much a solemn strike uh, if you tribute a spellcaster. That's a so. good card. Very good card. And you kind of you kind of have to swing it. Uh, I do, and the... What's the the tuner's got like twenty one hundred defense? Yeah, so he's got like, a big butt. I can't get over that. For some reason, it's got a big butt. So I pass. So I set two and pass. I think it's a tempest and a solemn warning, maybe. And somehow, I think I drew both my max C's in my opening hand, so <laughs> I'm able to to get some draws uh, coming up here. See, so banishes that to search. I remember what he pulls. Oh, that's right. Oh, uh, fire like. Fire yeah. Doing burning abyss stuff. Doing burning abyss. Oh, shuffles. So I, uh, <clears throat> yeah. Chain maxi to the activation of crane. The uh, uh, tuner blows himself up. Goes into Dante. So you boss Dante. Uh huh. Which sets off. What? Uh, the one that pitches a spell or a trap to the grave. Right. Then he flips up 
uh, that resurrection one. Yeah, special summons all Burning Abyss monsters that were. My head goes in the shot. Sent, <laughs> sent to the grave that turn. So I could have warning that, but eh, I kind of wanted. I knew we had the fire legs. I want as many cards on my field as possible. Give them options. Yeah, make them think. <clears throat> so he pops. So I, so I wisdom. Or no, that's right. No, I, I, so I wisdom for Oaf, and then add wis. Uh, yeah, add wisdom back to my hand with Oaf, and then I pop his fire lake. Fire lake. Uh, forcing forcing him. him to make a decision on what he wants to destroy. Karen cannot be targeted or destroyed by card effects, so he's like kind of stuck. I don't remember what he picks. He picks one of your scale. Oh, that's he, right. He picks yeah, the he wrong pick, scale. He, he picks Pit, and then he's really worried about those two back row. Uh, I think because he knows one of them is Tempest. Because I searched it out. So yeah. he hits both back row, and I'm very happy because he didn't clear out my scales. Which probably would have been a better play. Probably. So he top decks Graph. Uh, my turn, I'm able to complete my scales and search out. Or no, it's still my turn because he did that all on his turn. Yeah. Anyway, so I, yeah, I search out the other pit because uh, Dragon Pit is a not a hard once per turn. I can search out another copy to get over his vanities, uh, and then then he scoops. Pretty much. All right, guys, that was Ryan's budget magicians. Uh, he ended up going what three one three one. Uh, lost to you know, like I said that full powered Pepe. Uh, so I ended up. At seven and two games, I think. Not bad. So I definitely won more than with UA. So if you guys would like, we can uh, do a deck profile for cheap uh, Pendulum Magicians, if you would like. Uh, but first, I think I'm going to do another green screen video because hey. the next video is episode 100 of right. the show. Yay! Thanks, guys, for sticking around. You're, like, important or something. I'm, like, important! So, uh, thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, we'll get this deck profile out after the green screen video. And remember, guys, if you don't troll the meta, who will? I'll see you guys next time. See you later.